Greetings fellow undead, today we're gonna be looking at the Drake Blood Greatsword. Uh, last video I did the best greatsword series and I, wanted, I never mentioned this weapon for some stupid reason so I said I'll do a weapon review for it. And before I start, uh, stay tuned till the end of the video if you want to play with me today in Bloodborne because I'm gonna do a fight club today. So let's proceed. The Drake Blood Greatsword requires 20 in strength and 18 in dexterity and has E scaling in strength and S scaling in dexterity. So it's a dexterity weapon. This weapon, why did I not mention it in the other video? Because I never thought about it anything special. I played with it a lot. I, it was normal. The only thing it was is that stamina consumption was going for it. It had some quirky stuff, but in the last patch, they, they buffed the counter strength, which is one of the most important things about weapons in Dark Souls 2. And now it's 140 and I believe it was 110. So this is a huge buff. And counter strength is very important. So this is like a katana almost. And yes, I was kind of impressed. I played with it a bit for maybe one hour, two hours. Of course, upgrading weapons is a hassle. I upgraded maybe 20 weapons on this character. So <laughs> very difficult indeed in Scholar of the First Sin. So let's start. What's also unique about this weapon is it has 50 in lightning damage and 50 in magic damage just like that they just throw it like that and you know and uh, and it's it's good in a way what you can do is increase like put lightning clutch ring or magic clutch ring or sorcerer's clutch ring and then buff it with the resin which increases the damage output a lot although i don't do that in, vi in that video you can go full crazy also it has a special r2 r2 that no other weapon in the whole game has however it's very difficult to use and i only managed once to get the second hit which is the thrust which can be crazy so if you want to get that get that attack i think you should get the first hit you should bait the first one and then they get the second one it's a bit difficult but pretty worth it now yeah that's all if you want to go all crazy but this is weapon you can put the sorcerer clutch ring lightning clutch, uh, clutch ring and also put uh, ring of blades and flint ring and you have a crazy ass weapon with very high damage output and yeah and then buff it with the resin and it's also the only weapon in the game that you can get like four or f even five four yeah four types of damage like all types of damage is the only weapon i think in the game that can do that so we're done with this uh, weapon i'm gonna put now in the, the in the on the screen uh, the the glyph that you can put today if you want to play with me bloodborne i'm gonna try out my arcane build on you guys so you can come, anyone who even tried Chalice Dungeons can go enter this dungeon, it's the first dungeon route, so just search for it, you'll find PvP skills as a conductor. As soon as this video goes out, I'm gonna be there all night, all day until Monday, and I'll see you there. Bye bye.